In the back of my mind, I always knew and remembered the abuse. I remember the first time. I remember the last time. I remember the hazy pieces in between. But if you'd asked me for details, I would have said, I don't remember. I don't want to remember. I choose not to remember. My memory, what he did to me, what he made me do. It's like a million glass pieces that rain down on me. There's nothing linear, chronological, logical, symmetrical about it. It is more a watery stream of images, sensations, emotion. All I have are these sharp glass fragments of my life that I cut as I try to hold them. I used to say to myself, You must be crazy. You made it up. If it actually happened, you'd remember better. But deep down, I know. My body remembers. I hurt my body, my temple, the place that holds my peace. I did it to punish myself. I did it to express all the suffering I saw in the world. I did it because I wanted to feel something. I did it to feel like I was human. I did it to feel like I exist. I did it to feel like I was solid, real. I did it to cope, survive. survive. When was the last time you thought to ask a straight survivor if their heterosexuality is the result of same-sex aversion after childhood sexual abuse? Stop treating my sexuality like it's some sort of psychiatric disturbance, a phase, an, an image, or an attempt for your attention. I am beyond the bounds of statistics, between the texts of diagnoses. I am above the webs of hush-hush, crushing the pessimism of pity. What he didn't take, society packed up and ran away with. But for every day I am alive, I am outpacing their injustice. Every breath is defiance. Every word is an uprising. Every time I open my eyes is power. Every moment I learn to love myself a little more is, is revolution. revolution. A child would rather believe they are dirty, bad, crazy, sick, than believe they are a good person and have to live with the fact that their protectors betrayed them. It's a pale sacrifice. So it's awkward. You don't really know what to say. Nobody teaches you how to react to two, two girls, girls like us. To survivors speaking up about the wrongs they've experienced in the world. Everyone's caught off guard when survivors start to speak their minds. And we start saying no to abuse. Start saying no to violence. Start saying no to silence. So how do you respond? It's so much easier when it's in the distance, abstract. But this violence and pain surrounds all of us. Don't, Don't ignore, ignore it. it. We are the person sitting next to you on the metro. In, in class. class. At some, some party. party. We are your friends. Your best friends. We, we are, are your daughters. daughters. Your sons. We are here. This is real. And we're not shutting up so that you can feel more comfortable. Think about how difficult it is for you to say something. Then imagine how hard it is for us to finally stand up and speak, but have everyone look the other way. All it takes is three seconds for you to say, that takes some guts, good for you. Just, Just acknowledge, acknowledge this. this.